Execute. Order 66. All right, calm down. <sighs>back to a brand new Crate and Beyond Limits video. The state of play that is focusing on The Last of Us 2 is literally going live right now. I've been so hyped and excited to check this out. It's been a very long day, very warm day here in Ireland. <laughs> We're not used to that. Uh, but I've been looking forward to this all day, so I'm going to jump straight into it and I'm ready to be blown away by how amazing this game is going to look. So let's go. State of play. I have to say, the last one that was focused on Ghost of Tsushima was amazing. I wish things were different. Really? But they're not. But they ain't. Oh man, Sony Interactive Entertainment presents a Naughty Dog production. In bad days. I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You can't stop this. I want what you want. But not at any cost. I'm Neil Druckmann, Vice President of Naughty Dog and the Director of The Last of Us Part Two. What's up? We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally That's be in your hands. Pretty soon. The wait has been long, and we're extremely grateful for your patience, especially now in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. Mm -hmm. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Thank you. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different. Yeah, something we've sounds. never done before. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part Two. Oh, yeah. Including new details about the gameplay experience and story. Uh, and to cap it off, me, Ellie, all we'll be showing a never-before-seen, lengthy gameplay sequence. You'll definitely want to stick around for uh, that. Yeah, I'll remember that scene. That's pretty awesome. I don't know what happened. I'm supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. He didn't. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. She had to die. It would kill her. The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. I really can't remember. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, story. Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. Other than how it ends, obviously. And how the threats starts. of the world <laughs> kept outside the town's walls. Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of one to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? Oh. 
Well, would you rate it, Ellie? You have However, to say 10. this peace is short-lived. Jackson oh, and Ellie this? suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. I'm guessing she died. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country, previously unexplored in The Last of Us. The it story really spans nice. multiple seasons and climates, oh, awesome. from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Okay. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high-rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround oh, that it. Looks really good. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate okay. threats. Okay. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or uh, swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narratives. Definitely looks a lot more open than these more open the environments game. also create new strategic considerations in combat, whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. The Last of Us Part Two features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Uh, horseback game, riding will allow Ellie horse. to quickly cover some of these it's expansive awesome. terrains. Some streets are so flooded that a boat oh, is nice. required to navigate them. Shit. However, the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. Yeah. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged her, she must face the many threats of this unknown city. In the wake of the Dogs. pandemic and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war zone, where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. Okay. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The WLF are a militia group Dogs that began scary. as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, we got another trespasser, a girl. Did you see her? No. <laughs> on the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the Seraphites, oh, or Scars. It's gonna get there. Defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Clip her wings. <laughs> No, 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 no. Beyond this conflict among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. I thought the clickers, I can't remember. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers, clickers and the see? stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack. Surprisingly, with extreme so agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part Two introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers, large, oh, heavily shit. armored enemies that are covered in pustules. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud that burns its victims. Oh, God. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. Oh, okay. You got me intrigued. <laughs> Well, I already was, but you know, got me Overcoming more so. these threats will require careful consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. Oh no, run, 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 run! 
get in there. No one likes fighting dogs. The WLF anyway. patrol the streets of Seattle with they guard passed. dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you, oh, even while in cover. You think this guy's coming? Man, this looks they amazing. can pick up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Oh, no, don't, don't start freezing on Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving fight. and cause distractions oh, to avoid detection. They could be hiding anywhere. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover you, even in grass. When Ellie is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. You can also break class or crawl through tight spaces to find new paths or areas to evade or take on your enemies. That's pretty cool. In any given combat nice situation, break. you can flee an encounter and reestablish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Yeah, so Ellie's more combat. agile than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Oh, Learning how opponents attack with different weapons and mastering the timing of your dodges will prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counterattack. Okay. You can use throwable items or well-placed shots to stun enemies before dealing a killing blow. Or using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they're dead. Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate oh, nice. the environments, spot enemies, and meaningfully help you in combat encounters. All right, dodge. Back off! Well, that's pretty good. Cool. They're actually useful. So, well, they're displaying, they're showing them off that they're useful. So hopefully when you actually play the game, they are useful. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating sure. new strategic considerations and opportunities. Get the clickers to kill them. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Yes, do that. Please, they fight or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. Can they get infected? Like if they infected, kill them, do they turn? Our goal is to Okay, I had to do put there Our because the live stream Our goal is to create attention uh, coupled with deep systems that give you greater corner, control so and influence it. over your journey. Sorry about that. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. These skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. Okay. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new workbench system. Any game that puts your Scavenge weapon up close and just to has modify a little, like, and improve your weapon's performance amazing. and attributes, I it. all oh. of which are visualized and become part of your character. That looks so good. Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines, explosive arrows, pistol suppressors, and more. Go on, Ellie, go on. Shoot them in the head. You can do it. Headshot. Oh shit, nice. All of these gameplay systems are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional like journey. You'll get very immersed in the world. Well, just how well doing the animations and how cinematic and just how amazing it looks. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th.
Until then, here's an extended sequence of never before seen gameplay. Ah, uh, here we go, the gameplay. Enjoy. Woo! I thought it was gonna finish here, and I was like, oh, I thought we were gonna get a section of just pure gameplay. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna drink the water? It's probably not safe, I don't know. <laughs> what am I saying? She's gonna be swimming around, and then she's gonna see Nate and Drake all of a sudden, like, what's up, girl? I'm doing a crossover. I'm here to help. Did you find her yet? Shit. Okay, well, no one was looking. And then Crash Bandicoot Search jumps in. in. Just in case she's still around. And Jack and Baxter. Isaac's not happy about it. No shit. Escape. What the fuck are they talking about? They're going on the. Hold that breath. <laughs> Okay, so we're inside this base. I'm not a big fan of like swimming around and going on their like war in games. Let's just say the Legend of Zelda, the war temple, messed war up for me. <laughs> oh. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Oh, that is pretty cool. Is that PSP? Or is, well, it won't be a Switch. Nora. So. It has to be a PSP. Where is she? In the hospital. Where in the hospital? Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. I'm trying this one to see. No, no. Oh, God. Oh. That was a really good counter block. Like. Man, that was amazing. That looked so good. Can you zoom in on the what she's playing? That's, that looks like a total shape of a PSP. Look at the, look at it. Zoom in on it. Come on, please. Go to way. Word is we're almost wrapped up. It reminds me of the I got my girl Crash Bandicoot that. PlayStation in on Chart 4. They that was amazing. Hey, we get the job done. I bet you do. Oh, this is not fair. Oh. I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure. I'll keep that in Silencer. mind. Silencer? Okay. So, does the silencer break? Like, Sounds do you like get a certain amount of shots and then it breaks or something and you have to That's make our another one? Or... Hey. What? Did you hear how we're all getting called up to the fob? Well, I heard that Isaac wants us to retake all of downtown. I heard we might take the fight to them. Oh, no way. Not after what went down last time. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. That's what I heard. Execute. Order 66. All right. Calm down. He was... He, that person was, uh... Being nice. They weren't shouting around. Oh, Charlotte. nice shot. Sticky tape from that way. Oh, that's okay. Trying to clunk someone in the head. Molotov. Nice. Would you add some spikes to it? Head out. Check the whole course out. Someone's out there. Okay, so they're going for more of a I'm gonna fuck you up approach instead of being super, super stealthy. But they are, I guess, being somewhat stealthy. I don't think of the dog. Oh, oh. That sounds bad. The dog in pain. Just like that. 
bow, super lethal, super useful. Probably gonna be the weapon I use the most. Nice. Can't go wrong with guns with silencers either. I don't know, ever since the reboot of Tomb Raider game uh, came out and you were using uh, bow and arrow with that, I just really like them. And lots of games have been adopting them as weapons. Main weapons. Which I like. I'll go check it out. I got you covered. Holy shit! Do they always hesitate to shoot when you're holding someone? Or some people are just like, I don't care, and shoot you anyway? Oh. I found her! Tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora! I'm not going down for her, man. Oh. <clears throat> Some explosions are about to go down. Okay, very quietly. <clears throat> Okay, so someone is definitely gonna just pop out. Five. Don't scream. Put that shit down. If it's a bit blurry, it's because I was watching I'm watching the live video, so it probably hasn't Remember fully me? rendered. It's the one you're getting revenge on. That was amazing. Oh man, only just over two weeks, three weeks, and you'd be all able to have the option to buy The Last of Us 2. Man, I really like these state of plays. That was pretty awesome. Well, everyone, that is it for my reaction to the state of play that focuses solely on The Last of Us 2. This showed a lot of new gameplay footage. It was explaining a lot about the game, the world, and the story that's going to be focusing on with Ellie throughout the game. And holy shit, does this game look amazing. Like, it's a lot more open than the first game. The story looks like it's going to be, hopefully, a good continuation. It looks good. I'm interested. The gameplay looks like it's been improved a lot. Being able to craft things while in combat, pretty useful, pretty handy. Uh, just the whole combat, close combat, <laughs> I said combat too many times, um, yeah, it looks really good, and the executions, very bloody, very gory, uh, just overall, everything they showed so far for this game that I have seen looks very good, I'm very interested, and I hope to be able to buy this game the day it comes out, um, looks, because I'm very interested, I really did like The Last of Us, 
I wasn't um, as blown away by The Last of Us as everyone else was, where lots of people, it's their favorite game, or it's one of the best games ever made. For me, I quite enjoyed it. I really did like it. Uh, it's just not up there with me. I actually prefer, I'm probably <laughs> in the minority, I, I prefer Uncharted over The Last of Us. I know that's probably saying a lot because a lot of people probably prefer The Last of Us over Uncharted, but I just really like the Uncharted series more. I don't know, I just really like Nathan Drake as a character and I really like the whole National Treasures, Indiana Jones type of feel of those games and the whole, like, also like Tomb Raider. I just really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that character, even though it's a lot less serious compared to The Last of Us. Either way, got off topic. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm hyped. Are you? Are you going to be getting The Last of Us 2 when it releases for the PlayStation 4? Or are you going to hold off and not get it straight away, get it on a sale? Or are you going to wait until they announce more stuff on the PlayStation 5? And if it's going to get a PS5 version where it's going to have graphic improvements, frame rate improvements and all that jazz, if that is to be a thing. But it probably will be considering how big this game is and if the developers want to push the graphics of it and the frame rate and all that stuff they might release a ps5 version for release or they might get a free update something similar to the way xbox is doing it i don't know but i'm hyped i'm excited if you are hit that like and subscribe button let me know what you'd like me to react to next if you want to check out some of my gaming videos they're also on the channel and i also have twitch uh twitch dot tv slash crane beyond limits where i stream and um, so yeah i'll see you all in the next video thank you all so much for watching bye hey everyone i just want to say thank you for making it to the end of this video i really do hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos from me click on any of the video links that are available right now go on i dare you